My name is uh, Kira Banuki, um, and I am a PhD candidate at the UC Davis Bodega Marine Laboratory, studying a recently introduced sea anemone um, in Tomales Bay named Anthoplora hermaphroditica. So we're kind of curious about, you know, where is it in Tomales Bay? Um, how is it able to persist in this environment? And then potentially what are the, influ the impacts it will have on native communities? Yeah, so this species is the small brown sea anemone, is the common name Anthoplora hermaphroditica, and it's endemic to Chile, Australia, and New Zealand. Um, so all southern hemisphere locations um, tend to be kind of in similar habitats to, that we see here. So like sandy beaches, uh, estuarine influenced mudflats and things. So, you know, pretty far distance that it's traveled, but not particularly different um, environments that we think that they experience here in terms of, you know, mud flats and, and sandy beaches and such. Some of the questions that we're interested in, um, this anemone reproduces asexually, and so potentially the, res the anemone invasion is the result of one or a few clones. So we're kind of curious about how many clones there are in Tomales Bay, um, how does that compare to the native ranges as well. Um, they also, as Anthoplura, um, in the Anthoplura genus, they have symbiotic algae that live within its tissues. Um, and so we're curious too about how the roles of those symbionts might influence its success in these environments, um, especially since there are native anemones here and that are also in the Anthoplura genus that have different symbionts. So thinking about how that might influence the native communities that way as well.